welcome friends to my youtube channel now on yesterday's lecture i have told about the moment of inertia of a triangular lamina and that of a diatomic molecule okay now in today's lecture i shall going to discuss the moment of inertia of a spherical shell the moment of inertia of a spherical shell about a diameter okay so let us suppose that this is a spherical shell this this is rotating with the axis ab okay <coughs> there is a spherical shell that is rotating with respect to the axis ab so we all know that this spherical shell consists of large number of slices okay so this is the center okay this is the slice okay so if this is theta this is also theta and this is small angle b theta and the width of the slice is dx okay so if the radius is r this is r sin theta okay that means <coughs> spherical shell contains large number of slices we take such a slice whose width is dx and radius this is theta this is at the perpendicular component is r sin theta so the radius of the slice is this and this width is dx okay so this is a 2d figure so if we consider that sigma is the mass per unit area say sigma as the mass per unit area so what would be the area of the slice area of the slice that means circumference into thickness so what is circumference 2 pi r and r <coughs> r means what r sin theta so this is the circumference into width so this is the area circumference 2 pi r that means 2 pi r sin theta multiplied by thickness so what will be the mass of the slice simply this multiplied by sigma 2 pi r sigma sin theta into dx fine now this is d theta and this is r okay so x we know r theta that means what is dx simply r d theta so we can put sin theta this is dx means r d theta so 2 pi r square sigma sin theta d theta so this is the mass of the slice so what would be the moment of inertia of the slice about the axis of rotation that is about the diameter at first we have to find out the moment of inertia due to the slice okay so if we call it di then the moment of inertia of the slice about the axis of rotation that means mass 2 pi r square sigma sin theta d theta multiplied by distance square so what would be the perpendicular distance of the slice from the axis this that means r sin theta that means r square sin square theta so 2 pi r to the power 4 sigma sin cube theta okay now what would be the moment of inertia of the entire shell about the axis of rotation that is we have to integrate it 0 to theta varies from 0 to pi 
जिरो टू पाई सो जिरो टू पाई टू पाई आर टू दि पावर दिस इज डी थीटा टू पाई आर टू दि पावर फोर सीगमा सैन किऊ थीटा डी थीटा ओके दैट मीन्स टू पाई आर टू दि पावर फोर सीगमा हेयर उ टेक फोर दिस इज जिरो टू पाई फोर सैन किऊ थीटा डी थीटा ओके Now we all know that sine theta theta this equals to theta sine theta minus four sine cube theta. So from which we can easily write pi r to the power four sigma by two. This is zero to pi. This is theta sine theta minus sine theta theta d theta. Fine. So let us calculate this value. Okay. So this is simply I pi r to the power four sigma by two. This is if we do sine theta, this is minus cos theta zero to pi. That means cos theta pi to zero. And if we do sine theta theta, that means minus cos theta theta by three. That means plus cos theta theta by three. This is simply zero to pi. So pi r to the power four sigma by two three cos zero means one and cos pi minus one. This plus one third cos three pi minus one cos zero minus one. Okay. Because we know cos n pi this equals to minus one to the power n. Okay. So pi r to the power four sigma by two. This is six minus two third. So this is pi r to the power four sigma by two. This is sixteen by three. That means eight by three pi r to the power four sigma. That means two third four pi r square sigma multiplied by r square. So this is the mass of the shell. Mass per unit area is sigma, and since the radius of the shell is r, this is the area, and sigma is mass per total mass mass of the shell. Okay, four pi r square sigma mass of so this is the moment of inertia of a thin spherical shell about its diameter so uh, before starting the um, moment of inertia of a solid sphere at first we have to calculate it for a thin spherical shell because a solid sphere consists of large number of spherical shells and a spherical shell consists of large number of slices so that's why 2/3 mr square okay so this is the moment of inertia of a thin spherical shell so let us calculate this for a sphere now simple this is the sphere okay and this is about the diameter ab so this sphere is consists of large number of shells so take such a shell okay Take such a shell of radius x, and this width is dx. Okay, and the radius of the sphere is r. So, the sphere consists of large number of spherical shells. Okay, so we take such a shell of radius x and width. dx so what would be the area of such a shell that may uh, uh, sorry what would be the volume of such a shell because this is a 3d body so volume is what area multiplied by thickness so 4 pi x square into dx okay so what would be the mass if rho represents the mass per unit volume then just multiply it by this okay 
now from previous calculations we already know that the moment of inertia of a thin spherical shell is two third mr square so what would be the moment of inertia of the shell about a b if we call it di that means two third m is what four pi rho x square dx into x square because the distance of the shell from the axis is x so this is the moment of inertia of a thin spherical shell inside sh the shell inside the sphere about a b okay so this is simply a third pi rho x to the power 4 dx so what would be the moment of inertia of due to the entire sphere about a b so just integrate it within the limits 0 to r that is a 8 third pi rho x to the power 4 dx so this is simply 8 third pi rho r to the power 5 by 5 okay this is 8 by 15 that means 2 by 5 into 4 third pi r square rho into pi r cube rho into r square so that is 2 pi this is the mass of the solid sphere mass is what 4 third pi r cube rho mass for unit volume rho so volume is 4 third pi r cube so this is the mass of the sphere okay so 2 by 5 m r square so what we have learned in today's class that is the moment of inertia of a thin spherical shell and a solid sphere about a diameter <coughs> okay the formula of spherical shell is 2 third mr square and that of a solid sphere about its diameter is 2 by 5 mr square okay so in our next class we will going to discuss the moment of inertia due to a solid circular cone okay if you don't subscribe my channel then kindly subscribe it to get latest videos on physics okay so if you have any query then just write it in comment section and the link of this video will be given in the description box okay thank you